This is a vintage 1960s Mako toy hand grenade, mostly plastic, part metal. I'm going to show you how this works and uh, why we thought they were so much fun when we were kids. Uh, this is the pin here, pin like you'd have on uh, a regular hand grenade, slightly different construction. But uh, the first thing you need to do is remove the pin. Then you uh, open up the mechanism for inserting the cap by pushing down on the lever here and then pushing up. Uh, sometimes you might want to actually pull it from this front end and push it up. It's uh, just some of them work easier one way than the other. Uh, you can see this uh, mechanism right here is the part of the grenade that actually pops the cap. It's spring-loaded. This is the hammer. Pull it back. You want to hold it tightly in place. Then you take what I use, vintage 1960s uh, Mattel uh, caps. Uh, these caps, made by Mattel, are uh, known as greeny stick'em caps. Place the cap on the mechanism where the hammer is it's in the path of the uh, hammer so that when the hammer trips it comes down and smashes the cap and the part of the cap that uh, you'd want uh, a toy gun to, to hit um, and that uh, sets it off so you have to hold the spring-loaded hammer in place with your finger push this locking mechanism down and it's got to come down below a little ridge right here that sticks out from this part of the unit and uh, once it's down under there it'll hold against the pressure there's enough leverage in this mechanism here this part of the mechanism to keep the uh, spring hammer in place uh, if you want to you can put the the pin back in and so now, we're going to see how this works. I'm going to press this lever and let go, and it should pop. Oh, it's ready to go. I don't know if that was very loud on the video there, but it was loud in my ear.